Now we have a pair of quads split. And in a case of quad split coming together and being quad split, it's a case of like, likes, like when it comes to their subjective information assimilation process. Can you remember back at the beginning of this class, the information assimilation process being similar is a comfort in relationship, in pair bonding. However, these two are both dramatically different. In one way, the most important way, they're different types. One's in a, a, a generator with emotional authority. One is a projector with emotional authority. So we have A is in green in this graph right here, and we have B in blue. How you can tell is there's little blue over here, so the B is influencing A to have some detriments and one exaltation. The A is influencing B to have one detriment and one exaltation, which you already know how to analyze as far as how that would show up, right? So the left angle, 5, 1, A is a left angle, very different than a right angle, 2, 4, projector. So that means then the 5, 1 in relationship dynamic with this person, the 2, 4, is here to fulfill past life karma with this B, the right angle projector. Now they have two companionship strengths, which is off the wall, radically different than anything I've ever seen too. Because what tends to happen when you see two companionship strengths, meaning both charts have a same channel. So a shared reality, friendship, we call that. This is very unusual. It's normally a just even one companionship, you'd start to find a lot of electromagnetics in the rest of the chart so that it bridges the gap, it brings together splits, it, it makes it more interesting, that kind of thing. So this is just off the wall weird. <laughs> you can see that their gates are very similar down here and that their nodes are similar. So it looks to me, I'm not certain about it, but it looks to me like they were born around the same year. Yeah, a little bit uh, later in one case. So the 4037 tribal community channel from the nodal environments on both sides, one's unconscious, one's conscious, that is their authoritative process. So in that respect, hallelujah, you know, there's a shared reality there as far as the two of them being comfortable in relationship as far as the bond that is made between Oh, we both have a similar wave frequency. We both can make decisions in a similar fashion as far as waiting for patience, waiting for clarity. This one needs to wait to be recognized and invited. Mutual recognition, formal invitation. This one can respond to anything but needs to wait for patience and clarity in order for both of them, both of them needing patience to know what their heart is in for the community, for the tribe, what's in, what's in it for them and how they fit into that puzzle piece. We know it's about looking for the part seeking the whole, right? So that's a big happy face. I would put a big happy face there as far as uh, shared reality. Now, the other thing that's going on up here is that they both have the channel of logic. So this 63-4 creating the definition between head and ajna, making both of them very logical. You can see one of them has a couple of logics over here. The other one has a logic here. So logic as a frequency, big happy face. We're both very logical. <laughs> but if they make decisions with that mental logic, what they're talking about or whatever, but pondering as they come to an awareness because they've got an electromagnetic, remember that cannot be the decision-making factor. The A's moon and B's Venus are making an electromagnetic between the head and Ajna. So Venus and moon together, that's kind of quite nice. They might... I imagine, have great conversations, pondering the mysteries of life, you know, loving this one loves to be in relationship with this one's focus, that kind of thing. And now we're going to look at dominance. Dominance is where one person has a channel and the other one doesn't. They're going to be able, A is going to be able to see B for who they are, the alpha. And then where's the other dominance here? Stubbornness, there it is. So B is going to be able to see A for their tenacity. Yeah, channel of struggle, design of being stubbornness. So that's a, a place where not shared reality like the connections here, 
but a place where they can really see the other person's uniqueness and difference. Now, the compromise. I like to call these potential pain points, not death of the relationship, although that is what Ra says. It's a potential death of the relationship. So that is the challenge that we'll talk more about down the road when we get there. We're going to talk about these thematics. So where we're having a real problem here between the two is A's son is being compromised by B's incarnation cross. Okay? That is a big, hairy deal. It would be worse if this one was the projector. Okay? There's a harmonic there, so it's not as terrible still. It's a challenge. We know most projectors are going to try and give advice without being recognized and invited. And that, my friends, is going to be a horrible problem. It usually is. Judgment is designed to be collective. It's not designed to be nitpicky on who that other person is. If A does not feel seen by B, honored for the core light of their conscious expression in the world, this is a challenge. Okay? So explaining that challenge, not saying, oh, this doesn't, this doesn't work. Remember, let them have their own authority. You are not the authority of their relationship at all. You can see what's in the charts. You can hear what they say to you separately. You can see how they interact together, but never condemn a relationship chart because of what you see on paper. That is absolutely not the way to go with this because guess who they're going to blame? When you say, oh, this, this relationship is too hard, because they're, they're coming to you, they want advice. Oh, I want to get out of this relationship. I really don't feel seen. They're bitterly complaining. They're the projector. They don't really see me, and I don't really feel like I'm part of this relationship. I'm really bitter, and I don't really like it. And then, you know, you're meeting them on their down wave, and you give them advice. Well, yeah, I agree. Don't be a yes man. Yeah, I agree. You should get out of the relationship. They're not even your type. You're compromising their son. You're never going to be able to, you're choiceless. Don't go there. Come back to helping them find their authoritative process, okay? So the other potential pain point for, in this case, B, because we see we have a compromise, one person has a channel, the other person doesn't, is that because this is Jupiter, you can see the Jupiter, and then where's the 15? It was there, Mars, oh boy. So four, f four one, harmonic here, not harmonic with two, not harmonic with three. This is a challenge. We know that five and 15 are a challenge in relationship anyway. To have a compromise here is really painful for the projector. Why? Because compromise is the thorn in your side you cannot get rid of. It's not this person's fault. This person bees good fortune and good luck to have their own fixed natural patterns, rituals, routines that they like that are healthy for them would be steamrolled, you could say, because it's not harmonic, it's not resonant. Steamrolled. And this is A's immature energy dynamic and their own jovial, boisterous tendency. And it's not anything that's personal. It's not anything that they're doing on purpose. But I can tell you, this channel, 515, being one of the channels that is part of the um, design of a single cell, it's one of the two channels that makes for the largest auric frequency. They could be on three different floors away. And if they're in relationship, B would feel, A, getting hungry, especially with the generator. If, you're, if your projector has ever been around a hungry generator, you know what this feels like. You get pulled into eating just because they're hungry. Their flow, remember. So to explain the relationship dynamics and to give some options for... Um, mitigating those problems or challenges like space. Space is a really healthy thing for each of us because space gives us the environmental frequency of our own auric tendencies and it allows us for our unique differentiation and we can come together in partnership in a shared, mutually respectful dynamic. So absolutely experimenting with sleeping alone, 